Good morning. Here we are, Tuesday morning. Yes, a little windy here. It's winter, but it's still beautiful. <laughs> no matter what I see, no matter what, it's beautiful because one way or the other, I will find beauty within whatever the weather brings because there's beauty in all seasons. I was walking down the road yesterday and I run into a friend of mine. He's an awesome soul. And he looked at me and, he, and I said, oh, isn't this a wonderful day? And he said, yes, but look, at, it's going to rain. And the clouds, the clouds to me yesterday here were just singing. Everywhere I looked, there was a painting in the sky. And I found it difficult to keep my focus on where I was going because I had my eyes to the clouds. Yeah, and there I sing beauty. But I told him that, don't you see the beauty that's uh, above us? And he said, yes, but I got to keep going. I've got to, I'm going down here. I'm, I've got to see so-and-so and I'm in a hurry. And so we, we, we parted and I told him, of course, stay awesome. And it's beautiful and enjoy your, your day. And he went on and I see another gentleman who was taking a photograph of a building. And we talked for a minute about photos and He'd mentioned somebody was taking a photo that did, did extremely awesome photos of birds. And they are. But it, I find myself going through phases of what really captivates me. And right now it's the sky, the clouds. You know, I feel there are many that go through things, go through times, go through seasons. And when we see through our own eyes, what we see is the storm and only the storm. Instead of seeing that the storm is just a season that passes. So I woke this morning with, I'm here. I am here. Now. And then I gave thanks, I started doing my little meditation that I do where most mornings where I, I go through my whole body giving thanks for everything that's still together and giving thanks for all that I feel, all that I know and all that I've done and all that I've yet to do because I am here now. And now was the thing. Now was the time. Now is right now. I, the present is the most important. I had gone through some dreams last night, and it's, they were quite interesting. It, it is lately, the dreams are almost, they're, for me, they're, Almost an out-of-body experience where I know my body is still resting, it's laying down, but my mind is other, where, other places. It's gone. It's, it leaves the body. My soul goes to where it is I am supposed to go. And it's like I'm going to places where I'm to learn lessons. I'm seeing what I'm supposed to see. And then I come back with the dreams not all retained, but they are, I believe they are retained, but they all kind of dissipate to where we have a hard time focusing in on certain dreams that we've just had. But then as I finally woke, I had said, I am. I am here. Now. And thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you for this opportunity, for giving me another day, another chance to help and heal someone, to be a light in someone's life, even if it's just a flicker. As these little candles here flicker, 
This is what we are here for. My beliefs. I believe we're here to do more in the here, in the now. So as I walk through my days, some might think it's carefree my days, no responsibilities, but I still have things, I still work, I still create. For me, that's the question when someone says that to me, well, you have, if, if only I had your time, if I only had your freedom, if I had no responsibilities, I could be that. And that catches me usually, usually, but it would, it would have been almost a hit to me a couple years ago because it would be almost like somebody putting you down, saying, if I had a carefree life like you. There was a time just shortly ago that would have been an insult to me. And now I look at it and I think, wow, I still work a job. I, but I, I'm, I'm, I've chosen things that I do that enhance my creativity. So it gets back to choices. Granted, what I do may not put me in the Fortune 500 club. But I don't know that that's where I'm at in my life right now. I'm in a, I am here. I am now in a place where I want love. I want happiness. I want joy. And how do we create that? How do we create it? Because it's not something that will be outside of us. What are you projecting? And so I'm making it an effort to change me and create those things because I am here now. And up up until the change, up until I made the changes in me, I have been continually given signs and confirmations that where I am today, where I am on this journey right now, is where I am supposed to be. I've had so many confirmations, so many signs that say yes, Stay where you are. You are on your path. You're on your journey. So where are you? I'm telling you where I am. Where are you? Are you happy? Are you doing the things that you want to do? Are you where you want to be? Are you are you? who you want to be. And if not, what is it you're choosing? What is it you want to do? Does it mean you have to make a radical change in your life? Does it mean that you have to do things that will cause chaos in your life by making such drastic changes as to do the things that you want to do? No, I don't believe so. What if it was only baby steps that you were to take right now. And what if it was only for you to find you? First steps. You stayed in the life that you were in right now. But you start taking time away to find you. Taking a quiet moment. I do, I do little videos where I'm at the water. That's my spot. That's where I find my center. Find yours. And slowly, you will see a desire. Your desires coming through. We all have them. We all have a reason. We all have a reason for our season. There are always something here. It's a matter of finding what it is. I am here. Now, as you are, what are you going to do? Yes, this is 2020 time change. We just had this eclipse. It just happened. I, I've felt and I'm 
still in that season of change. I, from 2018, 19, the years were, I would consider struggles because it was the transition years. And now, last year being the strongest of those two, this year seems to be, I am in a position and getting in a better position to breathe. Breathe in the sense that I'm not stressing, worrying, obsessing over things that I once would have and would have kept me up worrying at night. Now those things don't consume my extra time. And things are happening for me, as they will for you. And for some right now, they are for you. You are noticing a big change. You're noticing a shift in your life. You're noticing opportunities happening in ways that you, you, you would not have dreamed of. You know, we, God and the universe has more, so much more in store for us than we can even imagine. What we see is very limiting as to what we can be. I am here now, as you are here now. Be present. Be focused. Be you. Find you. Find your center. So that was, that was my talk for the day. Another beautiful day. I'm looking out for the moon, and there she is. A little higher. A little smaller. She's going through her cycle right now. Today's a wonderful day. And for those of you who have a birthday today, happy birthday. If any of this resonates with you, you can find me on Facebook, Nicholas Gallardo. You can find me on Instagram, Power of Love Heals. You can find me on YouTube, my channel. Subscribe, like. Send me a message. Here I am. I am here. You are here. Be well. Be love. Always. Until next time, stay awesome.